Hi, this is Kylie with Scott Roy Marketing. Today we're going to be going over how to create a listing landing page. It's actually pretty simple, so we'll just jump right into it. Once you get all logged into command, the first thing you're going to want to do is go down to the consumer section. On the left hand side, it's the bottom tab. Once you're in consumer, it's going to by default bring you to the page for your agent site. We're instead going to want to click on the tab that says landing pages. Once you have that up, we're going to go ahead and click on create a new page and you're going to select as a landing page. The first thing I always recommend is to give it a title. That's going to make sure it saves properly and it's easier to find later on. So the listing I'm using is this one. I tend to give it the name of the actual address just to kind of help keep it organized. You're welcome to call it featured listing or name it however you see fit. So once that's done, we're going to go ahead and start utilizing these widgets on the right hand side by clicking and dragging them to the page. So it's always nice to give it a header. This branded header looks pretty good once it's all filled out. We're also going to add the listing widget. So click and drag. And you'll want to make sure it drags below the header widget. And you can see that green line is where it's going to place it. And we'll scroll down and let's go ahead and add the lead form. You can definitely pick and choose which widgets you would like to use. This is kind of our standard default for the ones that we like to put on there. Um, but you're welcome to add in a market snap. You can add in some more branding at the bottom. You can also add in a KW legal footer as well. So let's get that on there. And so once you're happy with the widgets you have selected, we now have to configure these widgets. So you can do that by starting at the top and clicking on the body of the widget and coming down to configure widgets. So from there, you can give it a header. You don't have to, but you can. Um, so save and apply. And then up here at the top, you'll see one out of however many widgets you added. Go ahead and just click on that next button. So this, the next one is our listing widget. And as you can see by default, it picks this address. All you have to do is browse listings. So you can go ahead and search by property address. You also have the option to search by MLS number or KWLS ID. And it's gonna go ahead and pull up those listings. So let's go ahead and select that. You can choose which image you would like to appear as the main image here. And you can save and apply. And as you can see, you can also upload a custom image as well. Once you're done, next widget. You can change this text, but if you're happy with it, just hit save and apply. And you're gonna do this for all of your widgets. And so once that's done, all you have to do is go to publish page. We're gonna click on yes, update it. And if you come back to your landing pages tab, you'll see it appear at the top. Now, one thing you can do is you can see at the end of the URL, you have all these random characters. All the way on the right, if you click on the three dots, you can go to change URL. That'll allow you to change this last section. So what you could do is actually put the address in there, but if there are spaces, they just need to be replaced with hyphens and then you can click create. So now when you click on that link, you will see your completed landing page. And now you'll be able to use it in your marketing, send out to clients, etc. If you do have any questions on getting one of these pages set up, feel free to reach out to us at support at Have a great day.